This video is meant to show you how to use the reclassification tool in ArcGIS Pro. This is assuming you've already gone through and created your aspect raster from an existing DEM. Once that aspect raster is created, we're going to go to the geoprocessing tool and we're going to look for reclassify. This is the tool that we're going to use to be able to reclassify our raster accordingly. So I'm going to select and I'm going to choose my aspect raster that's been created. You notice that it gives me an option here. I've got a start and I've got an end column. This is going to assume that start and end are tied in with my aspect raster. And as such, what it will do is it will tie into north in an azimuthal sense all the way around 0 to 360. So looking at north, south, east, west, etc. And so I'm going to have to take a look at this and I'm going to have to coincide that with what I need each of these values of my northing values to become. That's what this new column is for. This is where I can reclassify to a 1, a 2, a 3, etc. So I can go in here and I can look at what north might be. I also need to make sure that I'm classifying the proper field. In this case, this raster is a single band, so it only has the azimuthal direction that is being used here. So in this case, I can come in and I can classify looking at 65.7 to 112.5, and I can reclassify that based on Mirziwak and Kalka and their publication. And so I want to make sure that I go through and I look at each and every one of those as far as how they have classified the aspect when looking at solar farms. So if I look at the southeast, 112.5 to 157.5, Looking at what Mizuwak and Kalka have done, that pretty much is telling me that that's going to be classified as a 3. So that's going to give me a higher ranking in this case when I begin to classify each of these rasters and when I bring all the overlay together in the weighted overlay process. So again, this is looking at this reclassification from this standpoint. So if I look at 202.5 to 247.5, knowing that that again is going to be something that's kind of tied in now to the southern portion or to the southwestern portion, again, according to publication, that ends up becoming a three. And so I want to make sure that I'm tying that in for each and every one of these as mythical directions based on my aspect raster. So again, going to type in a three for that. And I'll go through and I'll continue to do this for each and every one of the as mythical aspects that have been created within this raster. Here we are looking at 292.5, 337.5. That again is going to become a 1 because that ties into the aspect of north or northeast or even northwest. Coming back negative 1 to negative 1, thinking about that, where does that fall within my range? Well, from an azimuthal aspect, that again is going to be a classification of 1 because it's essentially looking at north. So negative 1 to 22.5, that again requires me to assess where that falls within. That usually falls within our northing set. And so we'll say that that also is going to be a 1. So when we reclassify and eventually when we run the weights for this, that's not going to hold as much weight, if you will, as the southern direction would. Once I've done that, I'm going to pinpoint where I want to save this. In this case, I'm going to name this out as reclassify. I'm going to hit run. It's going to go ahead and run, and it's going to determine and make a new raster for me. You'll notice over here in the contents pane, I've now got a reclassify aspect. Let me go ahead and turn off the aspect kings one layer. But within my reclassified aspect raster, I've got a ranking of one, two, and a three. All this tied into that reclassification that I needed to do. And again, I was hinging this based on previous publications, my one, my two, and my three tied respectively north, northeast, northwest for my ones, tied into east and west for my twos, and then of course for my threes, south, southeast, southwest, and even flat areas. That becomes my reclassified area. Now for data, I can come in here and I can really begin to do some checking on these data. I'm going to create a histogram real quick. Let's just see how well this ties in. The reason why I'm going to do this is to see that all values were classified either as a one, a two, or a three. So if I come in here and I choose my value, I'm going to show my normal distribution from the chart. And if I expand some of this, 
Let's go ahead and turn some counts on here just as well. So we'll label the bins. We can see that I've got a bunch of values associated with this. And when I look at my histogram that's been put out here of my reclassified aspect, here are my ones, my twos, and my threes respectively with a whole bunch of values tied into each and every one of these. But it gives us a sense that each value associated with the original aspect raster has indeed been reclassified. Looking at all these zeros, each of these has been reclassified to be a one, a two, or a three. And that simply is allowing us to reclassify and get our data where it needs to be. So there it is, reclassification in ArcGIS Pro.